Hello, everybody. Um, welcome to the first video of geometry. Um, this video serves several purposes. The first one, you get, get to know me a little bit. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself, a little bit of my background. Uh, you also get to see kind of how the classes run, some of the very, very basics. And then lastly, you kind of get to see um, your first glimpse at what video notes look like. Um, there's no math involved in this, just in this one. Um, but here we go. So first thing, very important, make sure your sound is on. If you can't hear me right now, you're sitting here like, what's going on? Um, first thing I want to have you do is write your favorite color at the top right corner. Um, just because. See if you're paying attention. All right. Second thing I want you to see, the learning targets. You can see what I'm trying to show you in this video. You can fill out the video notes and use them to answer questions and get to know my teacher. All right. So here we go. So a little bit about me. This is my 14th year of teaching. All right. It's my 13th year at Homestead. I did teach a year at Heritage, my very first year, um, and then moved here and have been here ever since. I got my bachelor's degree in mathematics education at IPFW University when it was still IPFW, now it's just PFW, but it was IPFW when I was there. And I got my master's degree in education at Indiana Wesleyan. So kind of long here, but Indiana Wesleyan. Okay. I attended high school in the area, but it was not here. I went to Leo back when it was still really small. It's gotten very big recently. Um, in high school, I played two sports. I played basketball. And I also played soccer. Uh, I've coached two sports, basketball. That was my first love. I also coached track. And my birthday is actually coming up. It is an, on August 18th. Um, it was in, it was in 1986. So that tells you how old I am. All right. So, uh, you might want to write that down, but August 18th, 1986 is my birthday. So my family, I have been married to my wife, whose name is charity for 10 years. We celebrated 10 years this summer. We have three kids. I have Kelsey's my oldest. She's eight. I have Kyle, he's six, and then the youngest is Cole with a K, and he's two. I also have two siblings, my sister Jenna, who's 33 years old, and my brother Dane, like Dane Cook. Maybe never heard of either, but yeah, he's 31. During my break, I went a couple different places close by. I went to Michigan and Ohio, but I went to the UP, the Upper Peninsula is what you call that. It's UP of Michigan. And I went to Ohio, like I said, but it was uh, the mountainous part. Uh, it was a place called Hocking Hills, kind of. I was in the area. All right. uh, I didn't go to Europe this year, but I have been to Europe, and I'm planning on going actually next summer uh, because I have family there. Um, the, my family lives in Switzerland. Okay. So I've been to Switzerland, uh, five times. I've seen most of the country. Um, I've been to Munich, Germany. Okay. I've been to Salzburg, Austria. I have been to Krakow, Poland. I visited Auschwitz. Maybe you've heard of it, concentration camp there, one of the big ones. Uh, I've been to Venice, Rome, and the Cinque Terre in Italy. I have been to the Vatican City, which is kind of weird, but it's a country in the middle of Italy. Um, it's the country within a city, actually. And last one, I've been to Paris. So travel around Europe quite a bit. Uh, last thing about me, for these notes, I have type 1 diabetes. So... 
you will probably see the little pager looking thing on my hip that is an insulin pump. You also might see me eat food at random times because of this. So just to let you know. All right, a little bit about the class. Again, very, very little information here, but just wanted to reiterate some of this. Tests this year are going to be only worth 50%. It's down a little bit from last year. Quizzes are up to 30%, and homework is 20%. Your homework is broken into three categories, video notes, um, assignments, which can be multiple things. Canvas quizzes and Math Excel are the ones I use the most. You could also use formative. Um, I might even use paper pencil. And then you will have Swix, which you will see in a couple of days. All right, uh, absences. If you are absent, make sure you are checking Canvas. Okay. Um, the assignments are posted on Canvas on Sunday usually. Um, it is an expectation that you check this when you're gone. I'm not just recommending it, I'm expecting it. Um, I will hold you accountable for that. So make sure you are doing that. If you are absent, you are still responsible for having video notes completed the day you return. I'm kind of mean about this, but um, it's, a, it's for a reason, right? If you ever have questions though, at any time, not even if you're absent, just in general, I check my email very often. You can also Canvas message me. Speaking of Canvas messages, last thing before these notes are done, I use Canvas messages very frequently to remind you of due dates, missing assignments, announcements, and more, things I may have forgotten to tell you in class, um, things like that. I send them out, it's very easy to send them out. Um, make sure you are checking those, and most importantly, that you are reading those. Uh, I've seen a lot of people who have 752 notifications for their Canvas messages. They aren't reading them. That's a problem. You're missing information if you don't read those. So a tip for success in my class and in any class really is to read your emails and your Canvas messages and make note of the things the teachers are telling you. Okay. Um, I could keep going, but I'm going to stop now and yeah, looking forward to a great semester. Um, and you're done with the first video. So congratulations and we'll move on.